Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today, I'm going to go over something that many of you may have to do in a few days, and that is setting up a custom league. Make my day. Now, um, and many of you out there probably, if you're a com league commissioner or what have you, you probably already know how to do this. But I will go over it just in case you want to do your own play at home leagues when you get the new set that will be coming out on the 19th. Or, um, you know, if you want to make your own custom league from, you know, stock teams that you have in your library. So, uh, here you go. You, I had already clicked on uh, create new league. So then it brings up this screen. Type in the league year. You want to type in a league year of a um, set that you have. Now, I'm all of this is just going to be for demonstration purposes. So I will um, just type in, let's see. No, I guess I, all right, let me, uh, well, I know I have 1955, so we'll go 1955 and then character abbreviation. We'll just put BZ. Name of the league, I will say the Bob Zolke League. Games per team will go 162. And th <clears throat> this information here you don't need, so you hit OK. And uh, so let's see. Nineteen. Let's see where where is this? There it is. So you see, here's the league right here. So now, uh, what you would do is you go to league. Um, Update League, and, and then uh, right now we're just going to leave it at that, say OK. So I'm going to page down to the Bob Zolke League again. So let's see, there's a the Bob Zolke League. So now you want to add teams to the league. Now, one way to do it, certainly not the only way, but you want to get um, teams into your league. Um, you go to um, another league that has teams in it um, and you can dump those teams into the Bob Zolke League. So we put St. Louis in there. We put uh, Pittsburgh in there. We put Philadelphia in there. And you can see those, those teams have been put in there. Now we'll go to the American League. We'll put Washington in there. Um, sometimes you want to watch out. Sometimes it'll revert back to the other league. We'll put, um, New York in. And we will put, um, Chicago in. So now I have, you can see I've got six teams in here, which is uh, good for, it's a good even number. Now, all right. So. League, update league. Now you're going to go back to update league. Now you're going to go to sub league information. We're just going to say one, one sub league. Call it the AL. Divisional information, you want to say Maybe um, let's, 
the sports man. Uh, all right, wait, hold on. Sportsman, and that'll be Division One, and then Big Bob will be Division Two. So, and then up here you type in two. Then you go to Team Divisions. Go two. Two, two, and then you got one, one, one. So these are three teams going to one division, three teams going to the other division. And now you've got that set up. And uh, go to league, update league again, just to make sure we didn't miss anything. Now you got team nicknames here. Um, you can change those certainly if you want, but we're not going to do that. Team DH settings, you've got it at no DH. Um, we'll keep it that way, I guess. That's that's fine. And uh, and then here you can designate whether a manager. Um, is a human or a or the computer and uh i'm just gonna say one for a computer one for computer one for computer one for computer and new york will be a computer as well and then we'll make the chicago white Sox be human and now you've got that so now we go back down to that league. And so now you got your six teams. You've got all of the original players that were on the teams as they were dropped in. Now what you can do, one, one of the options, you can keep the teams like this since you just dropped stock teams into the, um, uh, into the system or into this league. But you can also, you also have the option, you can you can jumble all of these players up. I mean, this is a stock league. This is a league that you're making, or it's not, a, it, not necessarily a stock league. This is a league that you're making, your own personalized league. So you could say um, what we can do is we can go player. Well, you know, what you would do is you would click on every team And then you would go to um, let's see, release players, and it'll say warning: you are about to release all the players on the selected teams. And you say yes, and so now you can see every team has uh, is empty; it has nobody on it. And then if you go over here, you've got all the free agents, which is everybody that was on that team. And if we had looked at the free agent list prior to doing the release all players, we would have found out that the free agent list had nobody on it. So now what you would do just by example is you could say, um, Let's see here. You go to Draftomatic, go down to Player, and then Draftomatic. And now you got everybody is on Auto Draft Balanced Strategy. Now you can change this um, Auto Draft Favor Pitching and Defense, Auto Draft Emphasize Power. Out auto draft look for on base and speed um, and then back to balance strategy now for the um, purposes of this demonstration I'm just going to keep every team at balance strategy and we are going to do a serpentine draft if this was a brand new league as this is in this case you would want to probably do a serpentine strategy instead of a straight strategy because um, you 
You don't have anything to base on where everybody should pick. So you would want everybody to go down and then back up and then down and back up. And that would uh, lead to most teams being the most evenly distributed. And we will do 30 rounds. I don't know if there's 30 players on every team. There probably isn't, but when it runs out of players, it'll stop anyway. Let's go. Yeah, let's go 35 rounds. Um, and then you just hit OK. No, it didn't do it. So let's see here. Player. Draftomatic. And there you can see it is drafting. You can see it's going through all of the players and drafting everybody and putting them all on different teams. And it will do this for at least 35 rounds. And if, and you can see they, there's actually players that weren't picked. And this is only 35 players per team. Um, so now you can see there are different players. Or you would, if you look closely at this, you would see that there are now different players on these teams than what was really in the 1955 set. So now we have six teams set up with 35 uh, players on every team. And um, so now we are ready to um, make the, the uh, CMs. So to do that, you just check on every team. And then you go to team and then you say, generate computer managers. Use the designated hitter in the computer managers. We say no because when we set it up originally, we said we wanted it to be a pitcher bat league. So now, for instance, we go to Chicago and we'll go to team and we will say update computer manager. And you can see that it. Let's see here. And you can see that it generated a, a pitching staff right here, one through five. And it designated a, um, a closer versus lefty and righty, which happens to be the same guy. First, we have to make a schedule. So new schedule, um, let's see, edit. Yeah, you go, to, you go down to league and then you go to schedule maintenance. And then you go and then you hit go down here and you hit generate. And it says 162 games percentage within the division, 60 percentage of games to play at night, 65. You can change those as you wish. And then you say, OK. And then if it says, is this OK? And you just say yes, whatever it says, I'm going to go with it. So and you can see now you have a schedule. Now that we have a schedule, we can go back to the team and um, update computer manager. And as I said, you can see that you have a five man rotation put in. Then what you want to do is you want to go to starter schedule. And you want to say generate. And say yes and now what it did is it took those five guys and it rotated them one through five throughout the entire schedule now you want to do that because in general you want to do that because if you don't do it and let's go back to the uh pitchers if you don't do that you're going to be looking at like whitey ford will pitch whenever he's not tired 
So if there's a skip in the schedule of a day where there isn't a game, let's say you go one through four or one through three, maybe, and then there's no game on day four and then day five comes up or day four comes up, that would normally be Connie Johnson's turn to pitch, but instead it would probably be Whitey Ford who can pitch on three days rest or yeah. So it depends on the league you've got going, but in general, you don't want that because Whitey Ford may do that and then he may not be available for his next start. In general, I like to set it up like this, where you do the starter schedule. You've got it one through five. It just keeps repeating one through five, one through five for the entire uh, time. And then, um, and then it's done. So then you say, you want to say, save that. Now we'll go and we'll look at the lineups because we want to see what it's got for a lineup. And you can see it's got guys that are sent down, you know, guys that are not activated. And here, and it's got this lineup. Now you want to go through here and check these just to make sure that there's is a sanity check. I mean, I've seen where teams that have had, um, oh, you know, like Kent, let's just say Kent Herbeck. He's the first name that comes to my mind. Kent Herbeck first base, but then they'll only have him batting against uh, lefties or righties, whichever one he was the opposite handed of, because, um, just because. And then there's a different first baseman against the other handed uh, player. So you wanna make, you wanna go through this, make sure that this is up to date and it's, um, you know, it reflects sanity and that it's not, you know, it's nobody sitting on the bench that should be. Now you also wanna do that um, if you go to team and you go to promote and demote, you can also see um, who is up on the team. And you can see we've got 25 right here. Um, you got McDermott, Johnson, Morgan. And so you got, you know, you can go through here, uncheck it's like you could take Pete Ward and say, I don't want Pete Ward playing. And then you could say, I want this guy. Well, not this guy, because he only had six. He only had five. All right, well, all right, there you go. Roy, I want Roy up instead of Ward. You wouldn't really want that, but you can do that. And then you go to the lineup. And, uh, and then here's where you can see versus left and versus right. Um, and of course, nine is empty because that's where the pitcher would bat. And so you got that set up. Now what you would do is you would go to um, Team Update Computer Manager. And you would go to the pitchers and then you would go to like Whitey Ford and you would do any kind of specific orders you wanted for Whitey Ford. So as you can see here, they've got, they've already got him on slow hook, which is fine. You would probably want that. Um, but you have to go through and do this because sometimes it won't do it. Like for this guy who bike for Nailies, they've got nothing for him and uh, he pitched 103 innings. So I don't know if the computer's got him offhand. Let's see, um, let's go to somebody else we know is in, we got Connie Johnson. Well, no, Fernales is in the starting rotation. So you've got Fernales in the starting rotation he only pitched 103 innings. So if you're making a league where you only want that to be reflected in, you know, kind of accurately, I would put something like only six innings per start or maybe only seven innings per start. And then that brings up another good point. You would go to the starter schedule and you would go down somewhere in the uh, 
in the rotation and you would start putting in guys for Fornelli so that you could cut down on the innings that he'll pitch. For instance, Bob Keegan can pitch 71 innings. So you slide him over for Fernales here. You slide him over for Fernales here. Slide him over for Fernales here. And you get the idea. Um, he ends up taking Fernales' spot for the last few times that Fernales would pitch. And that will also cut down on the number of innings that Fernales will pitch, and it'll make it more realistic. Now, if you got a league where you don't really care if that happens, then you don't have to do that. And then you can go to batters. And you can go through the batters and do different things for them, too. Uh, we can see that this guy can hit and run pretty decently. He's a B, so you would check hit and run if you want to, if you want your team to hit and run. You can see he's not a good stealer, base stealer, so you'd put in don't steal if held. He's also not good at bunting, so you would say don't bunt. And then... Um, you know, and then you you see you've got all the other options here that you can pick from. Now, I just want to point something out here. You've got don't bunt here for this guy. Now, let's suppose that you don't like bunting anyway. And let's suppose a lot of these guys are bad at bunting anyhow, or most of them are. Then you would go to your manager tendencies. And for bunting, you would say extra conservative. So if you say extra conservative for bunting and you go through a lot of guys that are D's and they're not good at bunting and you say don't bunt, that's going to reinforce that you that the you know, with the computer that you really don't want your team bunting. And then you can make different changes here. If the, if the team has a lot of good base stealers on it, you would say uh, you know, you would say normal or maybe you would say aggressive. Now you can see the computer has actually preset some of these for me, but again, you wanna do a sanity check of the computer to make sure that he isn't doing something crazy. Uh, infield in, you can set this for starting in the fifth inning, or if you don't have a team with a very good offense, you might wanna start it in the first inning. But a lot of different things you can do same thing with the walks, intentional walks. Um, each pitcher has a, uh, let's go back and look. you got pitchers. You can see on here, you've got intentional walk less with this pitcher. You can check that and then go to your manager tendencies and, your, and make intentional walk conservative. And now people like Whitey Ford are just absolutely not going to intentionally walk somebody, or at least that's how it should work. Sometimes a computer is, is bad. If you're out there and you played this game a lot, you know that sometimes a computer just dis completely disregards uh, your orders. And then here you've got, um, you can change the defensive shift. You can make it never, you can make it much fewer, you know, batters etc and then the computer will do that and then um well let's see so there you go that's how you set that up and so now you would go through and you would do this for every team do the sanity checks make sure that you've got uh starting players that really should be in starting lineups Make sure that you got a five-man rotation where you are going on a uh, on four days rest for every pitcher all the way through the season, if that's how you want to do it. Um, and also make sure that pitchers that are at the back end of the rotation, uh, for instance, Fernales that we looked at on Chicago with 103 innings, if you want to try to keep players as close to the uh, innings pitched and at bats that they really had, 
you would want to um, go through the, the uh, Pitcher Today matchup screen as we did and go near the end of the schedule or at any places in the schedule that you want and replace Fernales with another uh, starting pitcher. Now, here's something else I want to point out to you. Uh, let's see. Team, update, computer manager. Uh, starter schedule. Here's the starter schedule screen. Now, remember... Oh. All right. Well, these changes weren't saved, apparently. But anyway... Check that too. Make sure that your changes are saved. But for instance, you see we're putting in Bob Keegan for um, Fernales. Okay. And now we saved it. Let's see if it saved it. Team, maybe I didn't save it before. Update com computer manager. So yeah, you want to make sure about that too. Starter schedule. Go to the end. All right, so now it did save it. Maybe I didn't save it before. Now, what I wanted to point out to you is here you can see you've got Bob Keegan pitching these two games. Now, Bob Keegan is down in the minors as you put him in right here. If you do a quick sim, suppose this isn't your team, and you do a quick sim of the season, the computer will automatically pull Bob Keegan in and pitch this game, even though he's in the minors. The computer will activate him for that game, and he will pitch the game on a quick sim. However, if you play against this team and they don't, and Bob Keegan isn't activated, if you're playing the actual game against this team, it'll probably say the whatever visiting or home team is missing a starting pitcher. Um, and if it's your team, uh, the same, the similar thing will happen. You'll have to activate Bob Keegan and send down Fernales in order for Bob Keegan to pitch those games. So I just wanted to point that out. Um, and so that's just the basics there. That's the basics of setting up your own league as we did with this Bob Zolke league. Um, and I hope that that was it's just a refresher. And really, um, I was kind of stumbling myself through this. So um, just a refresher for you, let you um, remind everybody, because I know the game's coming out soon. And then you're going to have a brand new leagues that you can set up yourself in your own play at home leagues or um, in your if you're a commissioner, set it up for a competitive league that you have every year and so this is just kind of a quick tutorial on some of the things you want to keep in mind and some of the things you would do in setting up your own league i hope it was helpful if you didn't need it then that's great maybe you didn't watch very much <laughs> i don't know but anyway um uh that is going to be with that i am going to sign off and say that is it for me sportsman z bob zolke signing off